Today we're making tapered cuts here at the table saw, but we're not going to make a jig. And don't worry, I'm not gonna have you put screws in your material or get out the hand plane or anything like that. All you need is a straight board that's a little longer than your workpiece, some tape, and a scrap piece of offcut that's around the same width as your material. Now let's say that I wanna make a taper that goes from one inch at the narrow end to an inch and a quarter at the wide end. The difference is a quarter inch, so I mark the scrap piece at a quarter inch from one end. Then I'll tape it to the wide end of my workpiece, overhanging it by said quarter inch. Then I can place the straight board against the rip fence, place my workpiece against that board, adjust the fence accordingly, and send both pieces through at the same time, creating the taper. Now if you find it a little awkward feeding both pieces through at the same speed, a little double-sided tape at each end will provide some grip and help keep the two held together, but make sure you still hold on to both pieces as you send them through. I don't necessarily recommend this trick for extreme repeatability or fine detail work, but it's definitely a trick that's good to know in a pinch.